Emma Raducanu's gloriously unexpected Wimbledon adventure ended in sadness on Monday as the 18-year-old from Kent was forced to retire from her last 16 match after appearing to hyperventilate on court. Urged on by a packed court number one crowd, and with millions watching on primetime BBC One, the A-level student started to grimace and hold her stomach during the first set of her match against Isla Tomljanovic, which she lost 4-6. At the start of the second set, she was increasingly struggling to breathe, which necessitated a medical timeout at 0-3. As she was being treated, the trainer told her to, take a deep breath, you can do it. You're okay. Shortly afterwards it was decided Raducanu could not continue. Nerves may have played their part. And understandably so. A month ago Raducanu had never played a match on the main women's tour. Now, suddenly, she was center stage as the youngest British woman to reach the fourth round in the Open Era. Speaking after the match, Tom Jelanovic said that she wasn't 100% sure why Raducanu had pulled out but hinted it was related to anxiety. I have experienced something similar but not to that extent, she said. I know that it's a real thing. I've spoken to athletes that have gone through that. It's not easy. John McEnroe, who won Wimbledon three times, said Raducanu's retirement could stand her in good stead for the future. Maybe it's not a shame this has happened right now when she is 18. I played this event for the first time when I was 18 and I was able to qualify and go to the semifinals and I felt it was overwhelming, the change in my life. In a way I was happy I lost. It allowed me to be a kid. I went to college for a year. I was able to get an understanding of what it was going to take to make it on the circuit, what it would entail emotionally, mentally, physically. I think seeing those expectations drop a little bit, will, allow her to take a couple of deep breaths. Wimbledon confirmed late on Monday evening that Raducanu retired because of breathing difficulties. Despite this defeat, there was still an overwhelming sense of a new star forming and catching light. Having entered Wimbledon ranked 338 in the world, and with career earnings of just £27,000, Raducanu leaves having catapulted more than 150 places and £182,000 richer. Marcel Nobel, founder of the Brand Council Consultancy, believes this is just the start. She has so many qualities that brands would love to be associated with, he said. She's multicultural, young and successful. And in a post-Brexit scenario we're looking for someone to represent pride in the UK. She's also very attractive, and looks matter. He said Raducanu had already secured sponsorship from the sports brands Nike and Wilson and was a solid prospect for the future. Fame, can evaporate very quickly, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. Especially in a climate where we've been so down in the doldrums.